Welcome everyone. In today's video I wanted to show you guys how you can set up a pseudo delta neutral position using a leveraged yield farming protocol. So what I have here is a leveraged yield farming position on like USDC. I deposited a hundred or so uh, dollars into Tulip protocol and then borrowed like um, to start this yield farming position at 2x leverage. So if we go over to the details part of this leverage your farming position, we can see that I'm getting 0.59% um, a day. And my APY for this position is 2,051.93%. So what I've done here is create a pseudo delta neutral position. So if like were to stay at the same price as it is now, I would be guaranteed to get that 2,051% um, APY number. But we know that prices will fluctuate a lot, and I wanted to explain a little bit more about delta neutral yield farming and how you can set this up. But I think it's important to know exactly what um, being delta neutral is. So if you're not familiar with this, I'll explain it now. Um, going delta neutral in your portfolio means that the price of an asset uh, could go up down or sideways, it doesn't matter, your portfolio value is going to stay stable. That's what it means to become net delta neutral. So for example, let's say I have one soul in my portfolio, and when you're long a, an asset, you make money when the price of it goes up, and that gives us a delta of one. Now let's say I went to Mango Markets, deposited this soul, and then shorted an equivalent amount of perpetual futures contracts. So I'm short one sol, and when you're short a asset, you profit once the price of it goes down, and that gives us a delta of minus one. So in our portfolio, we have the delta of one, and we also have the delta of minus one, and that gives us a delta of zero, meaning the price of our portfolio um, isn't dependent on the price of sol anymore. It could go up, down, or sideways, doesn't matter. The value of the portfolio will stay the same. So with this leveraged yield farming strategy I'm about to show you, uh, we are creating a pseudo delta neutral position. So it's not going to be quite delta neutral. Um, it will be very close to zero, but not quite. So that means that we are still subject to uh, price movements, but not as much as traditional yield farming strategies. And I'll show you now. So if I go to Frankium, they have an excellent calculator for this. Uh, so if you go to the calculator tab, you can see here. So this strategy you can actually do on Tulip or Frankium. I would just prefer to do it on Tulip because you have so many different pairs to do this strategy on, whereas you can only do um, a few pairs on Frankium. So I'm going to take Atlas USDC here for the example. Um, I know I did like USDC on Tulip, but um, it's not available here in Frankium. So that's part of the reason why I like to use Tulip. So the leveraged yield farming of Atlas USDC at 2x leverage is currently paying out, I think, around 526% APY. So if we use this calculator here, we can simulate our returns in 15 days' time. So as I said before, um, if I was going to farm Atlas USDC, I would deposit $100 worth of USDC and then borrow Atlas at 2x leverage. So you can adjust this here and you can see what the different curves would be uh, depending on how much leverage you use or how long you're invested in for. But let's just say, for example, we're doing the strategy for 15 days. So at the end of 15 days, if Atlas USDC price does not change, the equity value, or this is how much money you've made, uh, so the equity value of your leverage yield farming position would be 116.6%. Because you start off with 100% of your portfolio, it means that you've made 16% uh, in 15 days, which is phenomenal returns. If you think about it, your bank gives you less than 1% return a year, and that's high yield savings. You're doing this in crypto using leverage yield farming, albeit it's you know quite a bit riskier, but the returns are really good as well. Now, let's say the price of Atlas dropped 20% in that time. You've still made 14% gain as long as you stayed in for the whole 15 days. Now, if I keep going, if Atlas drops 50%, you've still made a 5% gain. And when you get to break even, that's around roughly a 60% loss in the Atlas price. So 
Um, I recommend that if you, if you were to try this, obviously this is not financial advice, that you don't use an extremely uh, volatile asset for doing so. Um, I used Atlas because it's got um, a bit of price history going. If you're going to do this strategy, I recommend not using it on anything that is recently IDO'd. Let's just say, for example, um, Geno Pets or DeFi Land. Those have both recently IDO'd and the price could skyrocket or it could massively dump. And in those cases, um, you're not going to make a lot of money. The closer to whatever price that you started the leverage yield farming position at, the more money you're going to make. So if I go on this other side, if the price of Alice goes up, uh, 10%, you've made roughly 16% of your position in 15 days. And if it goes up 50%, you've made, still made 13% um, percent gain. And if it doubles, you've still made, you know, a, a meager 2% return, it looks like here. So if we adjust this calculator here to 30 days invested, we can see how the curve changes. So if you're in this position for 30 days and the price of Atlas doesn't change during that time, then you would have made 34.71% return on your equity, which is great. But of course, this calculator isn't perfect because the price of Atlas could uh, drop 50%, then it could double again, and then it could drop 30%, and then add 20% onto its price. So, um, And also the yields could come down in during that time. So the uh, calculator isn't going to be perfect. But let's just say, um, I wasn't borrowing Atlas. Let me go back down to 15 days. And let's just say I was borrowing USDC and doing a 2x leveraged uh, yield farm. We can see that the curve of the, so we can see that the profit and loss curve has drastically changed. We make a lot more money now when the price of Atlas goes up and we lose a lot more when the price of Atlas goes down. So if the price of Atlas went down 10%, you've only made a 4% gain, as opposed to if you were borrowing Atlas, if it went down 10%, you're still up like um, a, a lot more. Let me check back here. The price of Atlas went down 10%, you're still up like 15%. So this is the difference when you're, so this is the difference that it makes if you're borrowing the farming asset versus borrowing USDC. And actually you can get liquidated if the price goes down by 71%. Now, conversely, when the price of Atlas goes up, you make a lot more gains versus when you're borrowing um, Atlas USDC. As you can see here, the profit and loss curve, um, it actually goes down the further you go away from um, your original farming price. So, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to show you how you can actually um, open up a position like this. So I'll first do it on Tulip. And we go to leveraged farming. Okay, so let's farm this. So what I'm going to do is deposit 100 USDC and then change this leverage to two and then change the borrow asset to Atlas. And then by doing this, I've replicated what we see here. And using this calculator, we can predict how much I can roughly make within 15 days. So the total APY is 524%. And this can obviously change as the um, the yield for Atlas will go down, as well as the fact that the and the borrow rates for Atlas will also fluctuate according to the utilization ratio. So if I do this, I press farm, press approve. There we go. My position's been opened. If I go to this tab up here, it should come soon. There we go. So the current position value is $100. So if I were to exit this position, I can still get my $100 out. So if we go over here to the details tab, I'm earning 0.52% a day, and the APY is 525% a year. So that's really cool. And I'll show you how you can set this up on Frankium. So I'm yield farming a bit of DeFi land here. Um, so let me go down to Alice USDC, and then I can change this down to 2x leverage, and I'm getting 568% um, APY on this. 
I deposit 100 USDC and then yeah we can change this to 2x leverage and then asset to borrow is Atlas we go all the way down total APY is 561% and we press farm and then I'll prove this okay there we go if I scroll all the way back up to the top again I'll press refresh my position has come up and the total equity value is $99.99. So this will change over time. Uh, the auto compounding occurs every 15 minutes, which is really cool. And so if you wanted to exit these positions, all you need to do is go back to farm, scroll all the way up to the top where it says your positions, then press withdraw. And then you can either pick USDC or Atlas that you want to receive your money back in. I'm just going to press USDC. I'm going to press withdraw and press approve. So while this is pending, I'm going to go to Tulip and I'll do the same thing. So I can just press close and then minimize trading and then press close position. And then I'll prove in my wallet. And I should be getting my money back. There we go, transaction confirmed. If I press this, my position has been closed. So yeah, this is how you set up a delta neutral yield farming strategy. Um, I've gone over some of the risks. I just want to say that you you will definitely want to use more stable assets for doing so. So anything that's recently IDO'd or is like a meme coin, you probably don't want to do this on. So if you're uh, delta neutral yield farming SAMO, um, you're really playing with fire. So you can only really do this strategy with an unstable asset and a stable asset. If you try and do this with two unstable assets, then um, it's really seriously going to mess up. So make sure to go to Frankium. You can play around with this calculator. It's really cool to look at. We change this to 90 days. We can see that um, if the price of Atlas stays the same, you've made 225% return. If it goes up 50%, you still made 233%. And if it goes down 50%, you still you still almost doubled your money anyway. So this is really cool. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new today and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.